Now, the controversy over China's new standard map continues to rage. Now, China has defended the move and urged India to stay objective and refrain from interpreting this issue. Meanwhile, Malaysia and the Philippines, they've now reacted to the map and have rubbished China's claims. China's new map, which was published on Monday, it resulted in strong objections from India. India's foreign ministry dismissed China's territorial claims and lodged a strong protest against boundary demarcations. The foreign ministry statement it went on to say that such steps by China only complicate the resolution of the boundary question. Meanwhile, China's neighbours, Malaysia and the Philippines, have also condemned this move by Beijing. Malaysia's foreign ministry on Wednesday said Malaysia does not recognize China's claims in the South China Sea as outlined in the latest map. The Philippines' foreign ministry on Thursday it issued a statement reacting to China's new map. It said, Philippines rejects the map because it includes the nine-dash line that shows China's boundary in the South China Sea. It further said that China's attempt to legitimize purported sovereignty over Philippines' territory, it has no basis under maritime law. To better understand the dispute of boundary demarcations, let's just take a closer look at the map itself here. China's latest map shows the Indian territories of Arunachal Pradesh and the Aksai Chin region as part of China. It further shows Taiwan and the disputed South China Sea within Chinese fold. But this won't be the first time that China has made such claims about what territory belongs to the land of the dragon. China has been using the same old tactic for decades. Now, let's just take a look. In 2012, China showed Arunachal, Arunachal Pradesh and Aksai Chin as its territory in the maps of the country on their new e-passports. In 2014, China released a new map again showing the northern northeastern state in its region. A year later, in 2015, the country greeted Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi with the wrong map of India. The map had territories of Kashmir and Arunachal missing. In 2019, the country destroyed over 30,000 world maps that showed Arunachal as part of India. In 2020, China once again released a digital map making similar territorial claims. And now on the 28th of August, the country it released its so-called standard map showing Indian territories in China once again. So the latest move also comes on the heels of the G20 summit in India, which is slated to be held on the 9th and the 10th of September. It is still unclear whether China's President Xi Jinping will attend the summit in person. Beyond is now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.